So I'm 18 now, which means I can sign legally binding contracts and vote and be summoned for jury duty. And that's kind of scary. Like this is probably my last year living at home and I'm no longer gonna be a teenage girl in my teenage girl room doing teenage girl things. So to ignore that impending sense of doom, I'm gonna make a cute top. This design is loosely based off of Makaratur's old Valentine's Day dress. My rendition didn't turn out so well, so I just reused the fabric and the overlay. I start by cutting this shape larger than I thought it needed to be, and then I made the back by cutting that same shape on a fold so everything would be symmetrical. And yes, I did use soda cans and a candle for fabric weights. I cut the front and back panels out twice so I could make a lining as well. This is the overlay I used. It's a mesh fabric with little sequined hearts on it. I then traced and cut the back and front panels onto the overlay, leaving an extra few millimeters. Making the overlay bigger than the regular panel allows everything to be very smooth once you sew it and flip it inside out. I then layered the fabrics with one satin and one overlay piece facing up and then placing another satin panel facing down to create two panels with linings. After sewing along where I had pinned and then flipping everything inside out, I had two panels that looked like this. And yes, my voice does sound like this now because I'm sick, but I just wanted to record while I sounded like baby Justin Bieber. At this point, it was past midnight um, and I had school the next morning, so I stopped. And I would have started again sooner, but... I then got stuck in Tahoe for several days because our car was broken, but I saw these silly stickers, so it was pretty chill. On the day back, I went to San Francisco with my friend, where I parallel parked successfully, several times. And I'm pretty sure the meaning of being a legal adult is being able to parallel park, so... This was our first time in the city without any parents, and we went to the Legion of Honor. That was some riveting commentary by Reyna, and this is some stellar footage shot by me. I'm leaving in the background noise for ambiance, and although this is shot on an iPhone 8, I still want it to have coming-of-age movie vibes. <laughs> this is the front panel, and this is the back one now that everything is sewed up. And for some reason, I only decided to add the extra millimeters of the mesh fabric onto the back. I was just couldn't be bothered, I was too lazy, but this is what happens when you don't add those extra millimeters. It's kind of bunched up here. Um, and hopefully ironing that out fixes it. And I'm not gonna iron it from the front because I know it'll melt the mesh. So I'm just gonna flip everything over and iron it from the satin side. Unfortunately, it is still bunchy after ironing it, but I'll get over it. I then cut through the center back to make room for a zipper. And if I had more than two brain cells, adding the zipper would have been the last step, but I don't, and that caused a lot of problems later. This is what the back panel looked like with the zipper, and then I tried everything on and just pinned it at the sides and the straps to see where I wanted to sew it, and it fit me, but just barely. I then started sewing. I started with the straps first, and then I sewed down the sides. And everything is right sides together, so the two mesh sides are touching. The total circumference of my top is about 20 and a half inches, so I cut a strip of satin three times that length and about four inches wide. And I hemmed that and tapered the edges a little bit, and this is going to make our peplum at the bottom. On the peplum piece, I marked every one inch, then two inches, then one inch, and two inches across the entire top. And that's going to be our guide for pleating. But first, I attached an overlay piece to the peplum piece and sewed it down, and I didn't hem the mesh or anything. So the overlay is also made up of multiple strips of fabric, but I didn't sew them together on the ends because I thought that looked too bulky. So I'm just overlapping them a little bit, and I'm going to backstitch every time I come to the end of a piece. Computer. Play Smooth by Santana. And just don't mind the Carlos Sainz Jr. cardboard cutout that's in the back of all these sewing clips. I'm really hoping I don't get copyright striked or anything for leaving this music in the background, but it's just too good. And here I am trying to show you how to 
complete in frame. I just gathered every two inch mark down to one inches and all the pleats are going in the same direction. I'm not sure what this type of pleating is called, but I think it gives a more full look as opposed to pleating every one inch. I'm just leaving in this long clip to give you an idea of how to pleat, but if you already get the gist, you can skip ahead. And here's what the pleats should kind of be looking like. Since all the pleats were going in the same direction, I just folded back the excess fabric on the last one to hide it away. I then made sure the peplum fit into the top part before ironing and sewing all those pleats down. And then I pinned and sewed the peplum to the top right sides together. Ugh, my music taste is just too good. After attaching the peplum to the top, the shirt was done. I then realized that this video was kind of short, so I made a matching scrunchie. Another accessory that I think would be really cute would be gloves made out of the overlay fabric. To make the scrunchie, I cut a satin piece and an overlay piece, both 11 centimeters by 46 centimeters. With the overlay on top of the satin, I just folded it in half long ways and sewed it and turned it inside out with a safety pin. Then I just had a tube of fabric that looked like that, and I cut a piece of elastic a little bit bigger than my wrist and passed that through the tube. I then sewed the two ends of the elastic together so the scrunchie looked like this and then I just sewed the two short ends of the tube together. After that my birthday outfit was complete. It's not really an outfit because I didn't make the pants but Never order a bagel in Italy. Never wear a McLaren hoodie out in public. And don't trust a woman who calls you love bug. If this advice seems questionable, it is. Don't trust me. I can't even keep my phone screen from cracking.